Well, if the world has to give away to the birth of a new world, let's just examine some of the birth pains we're having on the earth. And then we'll see about what day, and it's about how far she is along in her labor. The First World War showed great pain, birth pains. It showed one of the first birth pains of her going into labor. Because of that time for her, we had brought forth the bombs and we had uh, uh, machine guns and poison gas. And you remember, maybe many of you cannot, I was just a little boy of about eight years old, but I remember them speaking of this mustard and chlorine gas and so forth. How it just looked like it just get started and they said it would burn up the whole earth. It'd kill everybody. Well, it might be a, a, a breaking of that. Just winds blowing across the earth and how everybody was scared to death of that great weapon of poison gas. The earth went through her, its first birth pains. And we find out now we've had a second war, world war. And her pains was much greater, more terrific all the time, the birth pains of the earth. She almost had to give away during the time of the atomic bomb because it would destroy a whole city. It was much greater than the pains of the First World War of destruction to the earth. Now she knows that her time of deliverance is at hand. That's the reason she's so nervous, frustrated as she is, is because that there is a hydrogen bomb and missiles of the air that could destroy the whole world. One nation is scared of the other, no matter how little it is. They've got those missiles that they claim will just one of them. They can direct them by the stars and drop them anywhere in the world they want to. Russia, as I heard on news the other day, she claims that she can destroy this nation and, and keep the atoms or the uh, things from breaking up her nation. We don't know what to do about it. Everyone's making these claims, and it's so. People is Science has broke into God's great laboratory until they're going to destroy themselves. God lets always, lets wisdom destroy himself. God doesn't destroy anything. Man destroys himself by wisdom as he did at the beginning, taking Satan's wisdom and instead of God's word. Now, she knows she must give away. She cannot stand it. Russia, I believe, would destroy this nation today if she thought that she could destroy it and then preserve herself. Any of those little nations could do it. But they're afraid because they know that this world cannot stand in its orbit under such conditions. So the world knows that her birth pains is so great, she's got to give away. There's going to be a new birth born at hand. I'm thankful for that. I'm tired of this one. Any, anyone knows that, that here it's a place of death and sorrow and all kinds of discrepancies and so forth. I'm glad that she has to give away, and I'm glad that time is at hand. As John said of old, even so, come Lord Jesus. The scene is before us. Everything is in bath pains. Praise God. Everything before us is in bath pains. The prophet preached the message, bath pains. The nations, all that you see is bath pains. And when birth pains set in, they don't stop until the child is born. When the birth pains set in, it is time no more. <laughs> Amen. The nations are in birth pains. Israel is in birth pains. What about this day? The church is the church in birth pains to bring forth Jesus Christ. Amen. Is the church in birth pains? for the manifestation of the sons of God. Amen. You know, everything is depending on you and me. Because this generation is promised. There is a promise over all of us. Everybody that received this message, that finished the mystery of God, there is a promise over you. Each and every one of you, young and old, Amen. Each and every one of you, you have a promise. And the promise is Romans 8. A manifested son of God. Amen. 
So I want to challenge you this morning, all online, are you in bath pains to bring forth Christ? Are you groaning within yourself? I want to be a son of God. Amen. Are you groaning within your heart? I want to be a son of God. I want to be a manifested son of God. Blessed be his holy name. Amen. It's the hour of groaning. <laughs> Amen. Travailing. Why? Everything is in birth pains. And it takes the Holy Spirit to quicken to your heart that indeed time is short. It takes God himself to make it known to your heart that we have no continuing city here. Amen. We are looking for an eternal city. The one that is to come. Blessed be his holy name. Hallelujah. So everything is in travail. That's why we have to discern the times. Amen. Because everything is before us. And the prophet said, Amen. I believe without hesitation to say, we are nearing a great crisis. <laughs> We are nearing a great crisis. We are nearing a great crisis. The nations are. The world is nearing a great crisis. Then, that we are just about the end of the road. I believe that the second coming of the Lord Jesus, as all Christian don't teach us, is just here before us. Now, for just a few moments, for your attention, upon the great revival that I believe we are facing now, right in this hour of crisis, brother, there is a great revival we are facing now. There is a great revival before us. There is a great manifestation before us. Praise God, right in this hour of crisis, the prophet saying, we are nearing a great revival. We are facing now. Hallelujah. The first thing is, God always brings warnings to the people before he sends a blessing or judgment. <laughs> Praise God. God is going to send a blessing to you. He's also going to send a, a judgment out there. But before he does that, he warns the people first. He tells you, there is a great crisis for the nations of this world. But there is a great blessing. There is a great revival before us. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are going to receive divine judgment. The whole world is shaking right now. Are the impact of the on-creeping judgments. One of the ministers will probably pick it up in a few minutes. On the oncoming judgments. And I hope they do anyhow. On the oncoming judgment. Because the whole world is ready to, is quivering. Every nation is quivering. Don't you think that Russia isn't quivering too? Yeah. The United States and the islands are quivering. Who's going to throw that first atomic bomb? When it does, it may throw the whole thing out of cater or not be a who, cobalt bomb. What's the field ends that lose? There won't be even a fire and insect on the face of the earth left. It's right now in the hands of wicked, sinful, hell-bound man. Amen. And your destination of this earth's journey, I said earth's journey, is left to the hands of wicked and sinful man. Amen. Amen. You better watch where your soul's destination is Amen. pledged for. If it isn't pledged towards heaven and towards God, turn tonight with all your heart. And don't let the old year pass away without you turning to God. For your earthly destination is determined by the hands of wicked and cruel, cold-hearted, atheotic man. That's where your body is determined. Whatever they want to do about it now, that finishes you up. God be merciful. And God in His loving mercy sending signs and wonders and miracles and everything and preaching the gospel and people constantly turning your face toward, yeah. away from it. Then how can you expect anything else but judgment? Amen. 
You must receive it. 